So I am back with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about an exotic weapon which I just don't see anymore and I honestly do not know why. But before we start, if you guys would like to interact with me on other social media platforms, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I haven't really been active on Facebook or Instagram but I do plan on changing that. I will also be giving away beta calls and emblems on my Facebook page. My social media links can be found within the video description. Also remember guys leave a like and a comment on this video to be with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 beta code or Resurrectionist emblem giveaway. Okay so back to the video. This weapon is an absolute monster, it's amazing on every level and to a point where sometimes while I'm using it I'm thinking to myself, this thing is pretty OP. It's a weapon I guarantee you if more people used, more people would complain about it and 100% Bungie would end up nerfing it into the ground as it is that good. The problem is the reason it isn't seen that often is because you can only use it on a warlock. So you've probably guessed it, the weapon I am talking about is called the Talaylock. The warlock exclusive exotic weapon. The hunter has the ace of spades, the titan has the fabian strategy and the warlock has the Talaylock. Each of these exotics are obtained upon doing a quest given by the gunsmith when you reach a rank 3. To be honest the ace of spades and the fabian are garbage in my opinion and in my hands but the Talaylock is on another level, this weapon is an absolute monster. Now the weapon itself is a scout rifle for those who do not know but its exotic perk is called overflow. This weapon has a better handling, rate of fire and stability while your super is charged. Now before using this weapon you would think yeah for sure this could be great but when you actually use the weapon and feel it for yourself you will soon realize it is beyond amazing and deals serious damage within PvP. On screen now you can see the difference between this weapon with and without your super. Keep in mind the damage does not drop when your super is charged, it does the same damage per shot but literally shoots twice as quick if not quicker. The weapon is unbelievable, it truly is an exotic. To think it does 63 to the head and 42 to the body, easily capable of 2 body shots and 2 headshots if your enemy's armor is low. So let's take a look at this weapon in terms of stats. This is when the overflow perk is active. Ok so it will shoot 4 bullets in just under a second if your trigger finger is on point. It will empty its entire mag of 20 bullets in around 5 seconds. It takes 1.21 seconds to reload and its reload and ADS time is 1.26 seconds. We know it does 63 to the head and 42 to the body, so its max damage per second to the body is 168. To the head it's 252, which is probably the highest I have seen from a primary weapon, obviously not including the Nolan Beyond. It has an aim assist of between 45 and 65 depending on your setup, an equip speed of between 40 and 75 depending on your setup, and a recoil direction of 80. On screen now you can see how quick this is capable of killing and the crazy thing is its damage fall off is non-existent on maps this size which is another amazing thing. I truly think besides a sniper in this game this is up there with the fastest killing weapon at long range for damn sure. It's even up there at close range as well I would put my money on it. Now you guys know hunters in my opinion are the best all round class for destiny. Titans in my opinion are the best for pvp there's no doubt about it. So what's left for warlocks to be proud of? It's called the Talaylock. For damn sure, in my opinion, this is the best exotic weapon for a beneficial use in PvP. Now, most people who do use this when you actually see them using it are using it paired with the Sun Singer subclass, which I can understand why, but me personally, I use it paired with an Overbomb. But don't get things twisted, this Talaylock is still a great weapon to use even when your super isn't charged, but when your super is charged, watch our enemies. Now, the reason I use this paired with my Nova is because I use my Nova in backup circumstances. I honestly feel I will get more kills per game and do more for my team using this weapon while my super is charged. Yes for sure, I may get a couple of kills with my super, maybe even 5 or 6 kills per game, but I can guarantee you them kills fall in comparison to what I would get while using this weapon with a fully charged super. There's no doubt about it. Now there are some great exotic scouts in this game, arguably the best for PvP in many people's minds is the Mira Multitool which is an absolute great weapon, one of my favourites. On screen now you're seeing a side by side comparison of the two weapons and you can clearly see the difference in fire rate. But the Talaylock does way more damage so you can understand how devastating this weapon can be. Both have the same recoil pattern which is really easy to control as well. 
So Warlock's out there. If you don't have this weapon yet, grind for it. If you do have this weapon, use it and see for yourselves how devastating this weapon is. Now with Mayhem Iron Banner here, it's even more fun to use. So try it out. But guys, that is it for another video. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you've got the Tele Lock and use it often, let me know what you think about it down below. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos. And I will as always guys, see you on that next one. Always in